Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. I'll just move this. I am multitasking. I was really hungry. I wanted morning tea, but I thought I have to do that video intro. So I thought I'd do both. <laughs> um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing up a shabby chic mirror. Well, when I bought it, they advertised it as shabby chic, and it was really more like just shabby. <laughs> it was sort of um, a distressed sort of grey white colour and so what I'm going to do is paint it. I'm going to turn it into a window mirror so I'm going to be putting the little bars oh, on it. and so that should be pretty. And if you saw last week's video it's going to be going up above that little hallway entry table that I did. So but please subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that when I do post a video it will come up and you'll see it. And okay, so we'll get started with this video. I hope you enjoy. The first part of this process was creating the actual window strips and for this I used balsa wood I bought from Bunnings, it was only $6.25 for a strip and that's all I needed for this project. So it's a bunny wood, it's actually, it is actually a wood that comes from a tree but it's very bendy and light and it's really easy to work with so by using this I don't need any power tools or anything, I just need a Stanley knife to cut it and you can actually use scissors to cut it as well which came in handy. The strips I'm cutting are two centimeters wide and I use this measurement because I actually bought double sided tape which was 1.8 centimeters wide so I thought the two centimeter strip would be a good size for that. mirror I measured in 12 centimeters from each corner and this is where I will eventually place the strips just so I know exactly where to put them and everything's even and then I measured the window and the strips and I cut them all to size I put the strips onto the mirror where I want them to go eventually I take them down and I'm just marking the horizontal strips. The vertical strips will be one piece. The horizontal strip will be cut so that they fit neatly in and are not overlapping. Then I removed them and I cut them to size. At first I used the Stanley knife but then I decided the scissors were easier here on the shorter pieces. I'm just putting them in place to make sure they are the right size and they fit properly and they will fit neatly once I tie them down. And I'm really pleased with the way they look.
so this is a little wooden decal I got off eBay for three dollars fifty if I can find the link actually I do want to order more so I'll definitely be able to find the link and I'll put it in the description um, or I will put a screenshot on the screen of where I got it from um, I think it's so pretty so what I will do is I will I might paint this and then I'll glue it on to the um, mirror and we'll get started on the little windowsill we'll get that cut and painted as well mm -hmm. 